If you're a new or beginner artist, you've probably thought about starting to take on commissions. And while I'll make a more detailed video on how exactly to do that and give you tips, uh, I want to make this video now as a way to warn you. And I'd like to preface that not all people are like this. In fact, there's a lot of really awesome people out there who genuinely love not only your art, but you as an artist, and are more than happy to commission you. In fact, the drawing in this video was a commission for someone who was really nice and I loved working with them. That being said, I've also had my run around with some really nasty people who will try to take advantage of you just for some art. So I thought that I would share some of my bad experiences, not to scare you away, but rather just to warn you when you do start taking them on. So I'm a small artist. I have just over 11,000 followers on Instagram. And a year ago, I only had 6,000, if that. And I'm not saying that that's not a lot of people. It's a lot. I'm just saying that you don't get that many commission requests when you're that big. So since they were so seldom, I was more than eager to bend over backwards when I really shouldn't have been. And I also critically underpriced my work. I still do, but that's a story for another day. And some people may think that if you charge less, people will be more inclined to buy your work, but that couldn't be further from the truth. They're just more likely to take advantage of you because they don't take you seriously. So here comes this one girl sliding into my DMs. Let's call her... Ruby. Yeah, we'll call her Ruby. She sends me a message talking about how not only she loved my art, but loved me as a creator and wanted to know my commission prices. I was over the moon because I was... This was the first commission I had gotten in at least a month. So I sent her my prices and she messaged me back saying that she couldn't afford one and was sorry. I told her that was completely fine and to have a good day and that was that. Or at least I thought it was that. A couple days go by and she messages me again talking about how I inspired her to start drawing and she had been drawing for about a year now because of me and was wondering if I would be willing to do an art trade with her. I'm going to be honest, I'm not stupid. I knew that she wanted to do an art trade just because she couldn't afford the commission. And I don't usually do art trades unless I'm a close friend with that artist. But it was Art Fight Month and I was just trying to be really nice and they were super nice to me so I agreed. And that was probably where it went south. I shouldn't have agreed to that. Oh how stupid was I. As soon as I agreed, she started telling me what she wanted the painting to look like. And it was such an odd request. She sent dozens, I kid you not, dozens of pictures of her character in the same exact pose, outfit, and background that other artists have made. And sent me over 40 messages. Yes, 40. I'm not making this up. 40 messages talking exactly how she wanted it to look like. And I think the weirdest part of this entire request was the fact that she didn't even want me to use my art style. And I feel like that would defeat the purpose if she wanted it simply because she liked my art. And so in return, I asked if she would draw a picture of my persona and that she had creative freedom over the pose and stuff just as long as it was my persona. And I'm not sure why, but this flipped a switch in her. She started talking about how I'm not entitled to a drawing of hers and so she's not willing to draw anything for me. Rather, she would just send me a picture of something that she drew in the past. And here's where the hypocrisy comes in. She wouldn't draw me anything because I wasn't quote unquote entitled to it. However, if I wouldn't draw her the picture that she wanted, then she would block me because she didn't have time to waste on incompetent artists like me. And so she, she blocked me before I even replied. Not sure why. <laughs> a week goes by, so I thought that I would never hear from Ruby again. But then I get a message request from a different account. This person asks for my commission info, just as Ruby did, but this time they said that they would be willing to commission me, and I was ecstatic. I mean, of course I would be. So I sent them my prices and asked about uh, poses, characters, background, color palettes, etc. And then they sent me the same paragraphs verbatim, so they had to have copy and pasted them. But the pictures they had sent me were different pictures of this same character in the same pose. 
So I go to look at their profile and it is Ruby. She had over a hundred pictures of her character in this same pose drawn by different artists. Here's a tip. Always ask for at least at least a 50% deposit when doing commissions for this very reason, okay? She said that she didn't have access to her PayPal account right now and so she would pay me after I finished the drawing. A 50% deposit keeps both the artist and the client in check. It shows that the client can pay for the drawing and it also shows that the artist won't ghost you after you give them the money because, well, you haven't given them all of it. So. When she said that she couldn't pay me a deposit, I told her that I wouldn't be able to do the commission. And this caused her to send me 20 more paragraphs talking about how awful I was as not only an artist, but a person, and how my art isn't worth what I'm charging. But I should feel grateful that I'm even being asked for her to draw me something, and I should do it out of the kindness of my heart because she's only a child. She also calls me a lot of bad words for no reason you female dog you garden tool so now she's blocked me for a second time on this account here's another tip don't give people like her second chances let alone the light of day it is not worth it because a couple days go by and she unblocks me saying that she's doing a do this in your art style challenge and wants me to join she says I'm her favorite artist and it would make her so happy for me to join. I politely declined and told her I was busy with schoolwork and so I was starting to take a break until midterms were over. This was actually true. And then she would send a text saying the most vile things to me, calling me every name under the sun, and then would delete it. And then after she would delete that message, she would be like, Oh, no, 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 it's fine. You don't got to worry about it. You're such a nice artist. I confronted her and told her that if she keeps sending me messages like that, I won't do the art style challenge, even if I do have time. Because I want to be treated with respect. This led her to claim that she never sent me any texts that were mean or derogative. And that I was schizophrenic. <laughs> <laughs> and that if I didn't draw this piece for her, she was going to tell all of my followers that I was mentally ill so they would stop following me and follow her instead. Mind you, I took pictures of these texts before she deleted them. I just, I can't understand people sometimes. I really can't. Um, so... She then goes on her story and posts a bunch of pictures of my profile and some of my drawings talking about how I'm mentally ill and am hallucinating these scenarios that she's harassing me and that I shouldn't be, I should be cancelled because I'm toxic. I finally grew a pair and blocked her when I in reality should have blocked her a long time ago. Um, so tip number three, be polite. But don't go so far as to be a spineless people pleaser like I was because it is not, it's not good for you. You'll only get taken advantage of, okay? Okay, all seriousness though, what bothers me the most about this interaction was not because she was trying to take advantage of me, but the fact that she had already scammed so many other artists to do these drawings for her. I feel as if we let that happen. You know, if we undercharge or bend over backwards for people who don't even appreciate us in the first place, they're just going to take advantage of us more. Art is a luxury and not a necessity, so it should be priced as such. Moral of the story, don't go above and beyond for people who already underappreciate you as is. So stand up tall and be prideful. You're an amazing artist and shouldn't be going above and beyond for people who only give crumbs in return. Now don't go just yet, because I wanted to thank you for supporting me and watching my channel, because it truly means the world to me. And I want to give a special shout out to my patron, Rattled the Second. Also be sure to subscribe and like this video, because I'm going to be posting a guide for starting commissions really soon, and I know you don't want to miss it. And with that, I'll see you guys later.